You see, will uh, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives and their wives ravished. See, because that's what they did to us. It says their little children will be dashed in the NLT. Their little children will be dashed to death before their their eyes. That's what they did to us. Their homes will be sacked. That's what they did to us. Them the works of this place, man. And their wives will be raped. And that's exactly what happened. You know? And that's exactly what's going to happen. Hey, call alum, la ya, how about Shmiel Alright? 100%. 100%. Alright? Ezekiel 25. Okay? Ezekiel 25. I got, you know, two more scriptures, I believe, after this. Ezekiel 25. And I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to just get to the point. Okay. Ezekiel 25. Where we at? It's a lock. A message for Edom, verse 12. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom hath dwelt against, dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged, him, and revenged himself upon them. Thus, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and will make it desolate from teeming and they of the dawn shall fall by the sword. And I will lay and I will and I will lay vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. You see, so he he, he put the spirit on us. We hey, we man, we got busy, man. It's, you know. Everybody that was in there was done, and that was just the beginning. It was that that you could tell that was going to be a move. That was about the that that thing was about to continue. It just stopped there. We was, it just you know where we was at the Jakes that you know we just realized it in the place we was at, and it just, we 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 stayed. We moved. We it it was, it was gonna start from there. We was gonna march over, man. You know, but it seemed like we was on the ship, man. You know, but it says, and they shall do and eat them according to mine anger. You see, in accordance, see, and they shall do and eat them according to mine anger, according to my and, and according to my fury. And they shall know, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Yeah, how the Lord said, you thought I was altogether such a one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order from thy face, man. And that's exactly what's going to happen. We got an order in front of his face. Women, everybody, you know. Hey, verse uh, uh, four, uh, 14, verse 20 uh, in the NLT, I will accomplish this by the hand of my people Israel. They will carry out my vengeance with, with anger. And Edom will know that this vengeance is from me. <laughs> the Lord, sovereign Lord, Yahweh Basimah Osai, has spoken, man. It's just that simple, man. Okay? So, once again, when you go to Joel 2, Okay, and I'm gonna start at uh, 18. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close on Sirach, the Lord's promise of restoration. That's what this second chapter goes into, verse 18. Then will the Lord be jealous for His land and His pe and pity His people. Yeah, the Lord Yahweh Bashmael Shah will answer and say unto His people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. That's how it felt, and I will make and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. Yeah, we're not we're not you know these people are not gonna play with us no more. This shit is gonna be over with. But it says, But I will remove far from, far off from you the northern army, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east and his hidden part toward the uttermost, utmost sea and his stink shall come up and his savior shall come up and it's like it because he have done great things fear not O land be glad and rejoice for the lord yahweh will do great things and that's exactly what's going to happen man it says be not afraid you beast you beast of the field for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield her, their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiah Shah, your God, your power, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month, and the floor shall be full of wheat. And the fats shall overflow with the wine and oil. So we're gonna have abundance. We're gonna be rich as hell, man. We're gonna take, we're gonna have everything. 
you know, and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten and the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. You know, we're going to get everything back we lost, man. man. It says, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shah, your power that hath dealt wonders, wondrously with you. That's going to be a wonder to see, man. That was a wonder. And, you know, some saying, you know, being partaking of something like that it says, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord, your God, power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, the Lord said he's going to cause uh, he, he he's going to give us the form of rain moderately, you know, and, and uh, uh, the, the rain goes into what the doctrine, you know, you know. Deuteronomy 32 and 2. You know, that's exactly what happened. He's going to call, he's going he gonna to give us the rain spiritually first. And we're going to be hydrated and revigorated. We're going to grow. You know, we're going to grow through this knowledge and we're going to grow to the point where all these things that's written going to bud forth. You know, we're going to bud, you know, through us as us growing in, uh, uh, in this knowledge, man, in this spirit, in this. You know, the meter going to fill up and this shit going to come to pass, man. These women, they women out of here, man. Ain't going to be all low no more. Ain't going to be none of that shit, man. All right, so Sirach 36 and 1. Have mercy, O Lord God of all, and behold us and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. You know, and let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no God, but only thou, O God, to new signs and make str other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Sake the time short. Remember the covenant. And let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escape it be consumed by the rays of the fire, and let him that perish, and let him and let them perish that oppress the people. Smite and sunder the heads of the ruler, rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, and inherit thou them as from the beginning. You know, and that's exactly what's gonna happen, man. We're, 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 it's going to go down, man. You know, it's going to go down. You know, I'm going to read through 16. It says, O merciful, uh, it says, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thine unspeakable or oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give thy give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. You see, it's written for us to do. We're going to do this. We're the only one that could bear witness with this and feel this, you know, witness these scriptures because we're the ones he's possessed from the beginning. We're the Israelites. We're the sons of God. This us. It says, and raise up prophets, you see, that have been in thy name, you know, or with them, you know, with the prophets. I'm a prophet, man. It says, verse 16, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. And we're waiting on you, how about Shemuel Shah, like it tells us in Zephaniah, the third chapter, uh, uh, you know, wait on me for it is his desire. He said, for it is my desire to gather all the heathen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. You know, and, 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 and the true prophet's going to tell you this and everything that the prophets, the true prophet, the true prophets, the prophets, everything the true prophets will, will tell you is going to come to pass. And that's how you're going to know the true prophets, man. You know, from these dreams to the interpretations to the breakdowns, you know, everything, man. You know, and, and, and that's what's going to fucking happen, man. Verse 3, Zephaniah 3 and 8, I'll close out here. Therefore, wait ye upon me, save the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And that's what we waiting on for him to put that spirit on us, man. For my determination is to gather the nations that I might assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's exactly what, what's going to happen. Then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to serve him with one consent. And that's exactly, that's exactly 
exactly what's going to happen, man. That's exactly what took place in that dream. Everybody was on one, one accord, one page. We realized our destiny. It was over with. It was nothing they could do, man. Everything got in order. It was beautiful. Garments, clothes everywhere. One mindset. Order. Women is in order. <laughs> the children was raised up right. Everybody, you know, confidence, esteem was through the roof. These heathens was, you know, back peon peasants, you know, not proud talking shit no more. We slapping the shit out of them, taking their women, every goddamn thing, man. You know, men putting their women in order, you know. Well, no, but it wasn't none of that, man. So call Alam La Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah for their dream. Rock it, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. The Wadi Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Hey, till next time, Shalom. The translation of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, key, of the, of the kingdom, man. All right, it's about to happen. Stay tuned.